Hello, hello my dear friends, this is Uncle Misha and today we have something different on the bench. So this is Pioneer Stereo Cassette Tape Deck CTF500 and it's not working. Um, honestly, there is not much really talk about this guy. This guy is relatively um, simple cassette deck. It supports standard for chrome and uh, uh, chrome tapes, doesn't have metal. It has, uh, I think it has Dolby B noise reduction, doesn't have MPX filter, doesn't have, it does have a counter, two analog uh, VU meters, and that's pretty much it. Piano keys here, power button, and that's it. A, and, and yeah, one knobby here. This is like uh, the uh, essential input level. So the phones doesn't have a separate re uh, regulator right here and the back is pretty simple there is no point even to show you so what's going on with it i'll show you so at the moment you power this guy on and doing this wait it's not doing that anymore interesting oh yeah hear it so auto stop kicks in constantly so let's take a look what's going on here. Also, it has a little bit of a problem of opening the the front door. What else is happening? Looks like a light here is not working. Both of them have no light. This belt actually is working. So yeah. So let's uh, open it up and see what we can do. Typical. Now I'm gonna shut it down. Typical um, design, four screws, two here, two here, and that's pretty much it. So we've removed the top lead, and uh, that's what we have. So this is the tape Mac here, right, right here. It uh, seems to be everything is okay. Belts are probably could have need some replacement. Okay, so let's just. Uh, look at this so it has tons of belts that's the probably the biggest issue it has belt for counter it has belt for I don't know what is this uh, mm. anyways oh this is probably auto stop belt a like utility belt a cam belt I don't know how else would call it so this is real belt this is capstan belt so it has four five belts because looks like over here is missing this little thingy here is a pulley but without belt so clearly it's missing so this is what causing us to, to, to stop to kick in uh, let me show you a little bit up close I need to power it up again you see so this little thing is getting pulled down constantly just because it's not it doesn't have tension so it, it would be tensioned by the belt it's really hard to show you so it'd be you know on going to the side or to one side or to another side so yeah also this belt seems to be a little bit floppy yeah that has to be so this belt clearly has to be replaced this one seems to be pretty actually okay but this one is bad and this one is more or less okay. There is also idler tire right in there. It seems to be actually doing well. Anyways, so we have to get into this tape Mac. I never actually opened this guy up, but we'll try to do that now. Uh, let's talk about PCB a little bit here. So PCB is um, relatively simplistic. Okay. It has uh, uh, all main board or the main board with this big switch right here, which actually oh my god, this is annoying. Uh, which switches between play, play and and record modes, but it has also those two boards. Those those two they are uh, I think it will be big uh, decoders. 
the quarters and quarters because depending on the switch this is going to be switched into uh, used into record or playback mode uh, i just looked in, uh, around capacitors and it seems like all capacitors are in okay shape it looks like they are nippon chemicon all pretty much capacitors are except uh, the heck is this sanyo Looks like we have some Sanya capacitors as well, but majority of them are Nippon Kimikon capacitors. So, which is actually pretty good. Here is the A single motor. There is no solenoid of any kind. Um, actually, just to be sh to be fair, I saw different designs of this tape Mac. So in this particular one, it looks a little bit different from what I saw. Uh, other people um, showing how they look like inside. So there was a, a, a PCB right in here, you know, for the tape Mac. This guy doesn't have PCB. That's very interesting. Something to you know, something to think about. Okay, so let's just um, go around and see uh, you know, how how can how easily we can um, you know remove all this tape Mac, and we'll go from there. So I think at the beginning we have to remove this front panel. So let's. I don't think there is any. Oopsies. Okay. Well, that has to be fixed. Whoa! Sorry for shaking of everything. Oh. Wow, that was tight. So yeah, I have to remove these two. What else? Okay, that's it. That's probably it. I don't think there is many more of anything holding this thing on. Okay, there is uh, two screws in the bottom here. Two screws right here have to be unscrewed. Okay, those two screws goes to screw pile. Oh, that's that's it. Is that that? It's so just like that. Okay, I guess I need something to leverage here. Maybe not this. A little bit before. Oh, easy. Just press here. That's it. Ta-da! Okay, that now needs some washing. Just put it to the side. Okay, let's... Uh, how to remove this stuff? Is it even detachable? Mm, I don't think so. Oh, it does. Yes. That can be removed as well, and it's some, actually it's a nice looking one. Yikes, it's super dirty inside. Pioneer heads, nice. Is it metal? Not really. It feels super plastic, plasticky right here. So now we have to, I don't know, we have to remove this thing or not? Probably. Do I need to? Okay, well, let me try. There are a few screws around here, like one, two, three. Uh, maybe th maybe this I won't touch like I just remove those screws here this screw and that's pretty much it and some screws on top here
those uh, piano keys are really dirty but I'll address that later Yeah, it's some kind of disintegrating tape here, which is gonna be removed and then replaced. I'm not really sure if I have to remove this, but I will. I wonder, maybe I have to unscrew all this jazz as well. I'm not sure what's underneath here. Mm, looks like my tape max are just falling down inwards. What else holding it? Looks like some of those screws had the double duty. Ah, oh, I see. This arm has to be dislodged as well a few soft toppers some zip ties has to be disconnected Found that Ooh, this belt. Okay, here we are. So we have pulled the tape mag out of here. Just like, just leave it like this. 
Okay, we have to double check this thing. We want to see if I have access to that belt. Yes, I do. Uh, no, I don't. That's the uh, counter belt. It's a tiny one. That's a counter belt. No, I thought I have access to the. Okay, I'm, I mean, to, oh my god, it's super tiny, but it's okay. It seems like it's working. Hmm. Is it like a remains of the other belt? Yeah, I don't know how to freaking access that thing. I just want to be able to somehow, or maybe, maybe, if possible, just to push the belt through here and somehow feed it through here, maybe. Because to removing, removing all this jazz, like this is a ridiculous amount of work. Oh my god, this is just insane. Maybe I would be able to... I have seen see something right there. I don't know. It seems like a remains of old belt. They don't know how to fish it out. Now it's crazy. It's just sit there. The only downside, I have no idea what kind of belt that's supposed to be. Yep. Yeah. Let me try to find some belts. So what I'm trying to do at the moment, I'm I already uh, in inserted a belt around this little pulley right here, pushed it all inside there, and now I'm gonna probably try to prop it somehow using this kilowatt meter. Oh yeah, that's probably better. Would you stay? Wah. Okay, that's better and try to use any possible tools I have, like these, to fish this belt somehow, like right here, see? Okay, I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but that's what I'm trying to do, it's super awkward. It's not the best tool. Okay, let's use this hook. Maybe that's gonna work. Yeah, well, hook not gonna work. Let's just try this hook. Oh my god, it's like... No, oh, hang, 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 hang. Have something. Have something. Okay. Now, <laughs> the second main goal is to wrap somehow this belt. It actually looks like it's a big belt. It's too big. Hmm. Alright, so we have to repeat this procedure with different belt because this one turned out to be... Turn out a bit too big. So yeah, here we go. Now I have to pull it out somehow. Uh, yikes! I have to remove it from here. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing. If this is not gonna help no point to do any further repairs I think right get out okay this is a little bit too big so I have this one okay let me try it's substantially smaller because that one was substantially big bigger so I have to fish this little guy out in I mean it's actually a stupid design I think this is overly complicated, stupid design, but that's what you get when you have only like 
one motor doing everything so yeah love and flutter probably here is shit but looks like I'm getting kind of already figuring this out looks like I'm getting professional here proficient make sure the belt goes No, 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 no way. Oh my god. Ah, I know what they've done. It's impossible. Ah. Okay, there is a, a peg, essentially a peg, and the belt goes around this. So here, so I'll, I'll better, better draw you. This is so stupid. So here is one pulley, which I try to uh, the little one here. Here is uh, a real pulley, the bigger one. Not sure how big is it in, in proportion. Anyways, so I was able to insert belt right here. No problem. Okay, I hope you see that right here. But there is a problem that in order to put it properly over here, I need to overcome this. So what I can do, I can fish it like this. Obviously, it's not gonna work. <laughs> this is stupid. So in order to get belt like this, I have to un like you have to get rid of this little sh like uh, it's like a bolt here. You see? It's retarded. <laughs> Let me think about it. Alright guys, looks like I'm out of luck, so no matter what I have to disassemble all this crap. So yeah, so because of that issue that I mentioned, I cannot get access to properly replace this belt. So in order to do so, let me see how easily it can be done with this minimum disruptions. So clearly one screw here, definitely this thing has to be removed the capstan wheel for sure all right so this screw that screw yeah and here as well okay okay well let's we'll just do it really actually my bad this one is not necessary this is just uh, doesn't hold anything this is not this it's here. Kind of surprised it's such a dinky, dinky little bolt. Right, one here. Yeah, it's all moving now. And another one is here. That's it. Seems to be. Still pretty awkward. Okay, those are heads, I presume. This is all these jaws. Whoa, it's all like. Super entangled here. Really awkward. And maybe there is one more.
Okay, it's not gonna be a little bit easier. This will separate this. Okay. Now we remove this. I hope we will. <laughs> That's a long shaft. Oh wow, what? Okay, this is our flywheel. Pretty nice, actually, Nick. Not too, too dirty. Belts. You can remove all them. Are these two identical? Yeah, looks like those two identical. And the main drive belt is possibly. It's hard to remove, but it's possible to remove. Just slide it like this. Need some cleaning and maybe a little bit of restoration. Okay. Holy smokes. Look at that jazz here. Hope it's hope I'm gonna put it in the right <laughs> order back. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to investigate how many screws I have to open up from here. One here for sure. Okay, one is here. Okay, let's open up this guy. Okay, that's a long one. It goes here. Okay, like one here for sure. Losing some bits and pieces here, okay. Okay, self topper one, and I believe self topper two. Yep. And then this guy. Another self topper. And another one. Four. What else? This break here. Okay. 
Oh my god! That's not over yet. Looks like we have to undo this pin right here. Oh, what kind of retard come up with this? You see this? Yeah, I may clean up all this stuff while I'm here. But I actually can clean up it no matter what. Why won't they put the freaking screw? Hmm. I don't like those pins, never liked them. It's a dangerous business dealing with this. Yeah, that's what I mean. How do I check all that? I have no idea. Oh yeah, Whew, I'm lucky. I didn't fly too too far. Yeah, oh, I hate those things. Oh, so much work. Okay, okay, I have to make a pause and get myself a coffee and things like that. Sorry guys, this is ridiculous. This is probably the worst tape mechanism I ever disassembled. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also, I may take a chance also to lubricate any moving parts here, like this, this, and here. I use some... Um, wow, that's really intense. Hope this is actually gonna work. Because <laughs> doing all this job, just to realize it's not gonna help you. Alright, uh, a little bit skipped ahead, because it took me some fiddling... Uh, substantial amount of fiddling in order to get this thing um, going so right now I was able to install this let me show you uh, this little belt right here here it is you see this okay so and then after I installed it I screwed this plasticky part back to this metal part that's it I just inserted it I was actually not too too bad in comparison also I have replaced this belt Okay, this is the two original ones and this belt which uh, is supposed to go here will be replaced as well. It's already uh, tre threaded through the capstan, so it's just hanging somewhere right there. Okay, so my goal right now is to actually install this capstan -y thing and it's like fiddly as hell because it's so many moving parts this is probably the worst tape mac I'm probably repeating myself I used I, I'm I worked. I don't have that much of ex really experience of doing these things, but like it's ridiculous. It's yeah, it's super super annoying because it's everything. Like so many things are like can go misaligned. You have to like have to be an octopus essentially if you want to successfully do all these jaws. Yeah. So one of the little screws goes on this side. For some reason, it's only one. I'm kind of surprised it has two holes, but unless someone was here before and lost the screw, I don't know. Okay, we just gonna screw that little guy. It's gonna help us a little bit. I'm gonna free. Ah, go. 
Damn you! Little screw. Doesn't help that this thing is always try to fall down. Okay, so that's a little bit easier. Now we have to make sure this little switch goes on top of the arm there, otherwise you would have a little problem. And uh, yeah. I said on top? Yes, I said on top. Which is not... Okay, it's on, I think it's on top. Yes, it's on top. Okay, now this long screw or M3 bolt goes in here. All this kind of stuff is so fiddly because it's nothing is detachable. I so like the the tape mechanism when you can just detach it from the tape cassette. And that's it. And this one is not. Hope I didn't damage anything or rip some wires. All right, that's the main one. Okay, I think this one is correct. So this little switch right there, okay, this one should be on top of the, the arm over there. That's very important. I already done this mistake once. I must tell you it motor did not turn so if your motor does not turn that's because that thing is wrong and this is how it's secured okay let's secure this little guy right here okay so now let's try to fish it out that belt using this hooky thing which is super handy and place it over okay mm, something like that it's not really rolling properly but hmm. okay er, I think as far as tape Mac it's this is it let's power it up and see how we're doing here Okay, looks like we did a bad some something bad again. Um, okay, guys, I think I am figured this out. So this particular switch here has to be pro like I think it has to be properly adjusted. Unscrew by unscrewing that and and twisting it in this direction, I'm able to and securing them. I'm able to f make it so that it only operates either when you rewind or uh, it's hard play but when you stop it stops the whole thing do you guys think this is the right way I don't even know how it's supposed oh, shit it's so dangerous here this is like main wires right there oh yeah okay well I can deem it sort of fixed what do you guys think I think it's fixed right okay so before we continue any further okay i'm deem deeming it first for fix and the moment i have to find um some other videos in the internet maybe someone already done this uh, sort of repair and see if the capstan constantly turns if it constantly turns judging by if i, if I understand by this mechanic here it's going to be constantly turning this wheel and this little thing and yeah, and it's always going to be doing that clicky clicky thing. So unless there is something broken here and I do not understand, uh, I think it's okay for now. Okay, let me do a little bit more research before I continue. I'm going to 
disconnected at the moment. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put it back in here. Okay, I can confirm this is correct actually. Um, I saw some other people who actually disassembled this guy and it turn the capstan only when you power uh, when you press play rewind or forward so i think we are good it's awesome all right so now we have to put it all back in original shape and uh, yeah place all these guys and the figure oh yeah i uh, forgot few screws which actually has to be installed back in look at this this is still wibbly wobbly so this has to be secured let me do that and yeah, probably unscrew some other things along the way. I need to just <laughs> recall where goes what. One more, yeah, two more screws, and this guy has to get. To... How do you? How do you freaking open this guy? Hey, that's not. Did I freaking miss something? Uh, yeah, oh, that's cool. What did I miss? How did that? Yeah, I don't even see how it's getting released. Okay, well, I figured it out again. It's like a puzzle, this thingy. So yeah, the the little ah. That's <laughs> so hard to work on this tape mech. Oh my god. Okay, there is a little uh, arm here which is supposed to go. Um, you didn't see it in the motor. Like, it's just right here. Right here. And it's supposed to connect to this arm. Like, uh, like in, in this area. So, yeah, now it's connected because it was actually not connecting properly. So, now when you. Let's go back. And when you press this button. Let's go back. So, that's done. Ho ho! Alright, okay, let's uh, open this up again. And let's put those screws where they belong. As belong here, for sure. Okay, that's better. It's not wibbly wobbly anymore. And another little guy. I don't know where this belong. Okay, I see, I see. So before I put the um, it's package it all together, I have to clean it up quite well. So this belong right here. Okay, and I think I have one more, and it belong. I think. Maybe I'm wrong. I had the impression that there is one actually connects it from this side. It looks like I do have extra screw. <laughs> but I forgot where it goes. Unless it's somewhere under. No, I don't. This screw is. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's okay. Oh no. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, it's a bit of a puzzle, but yeah, looks like I have all of them here. Here, this proper breaks. This is okay. Here, here. Uh, well, Celevi, I don't remember. I probably have to check my disassembly video. Okay, those are not this little thing is not from here. There's one little screw dangling in this area. Okay, we have to put the capstan washer back on. That's a very important part. So, capstan washer should be installed for sure not all the way back okay but there's a little bit has to have a little gap like 
tiny gap in between the bearing and the washer. Now I have to clean up all this because it's as you see it's a mega super pooper dirty so I'm not gonna be shooting video how I clean it up and maybe during the cleanup I will recall where the last screw is supposed to go. So here is a little trick of installing the counter belt which I actually had to disassemble again and install. So you you uh, put your counter belt on then use a little bit of piece of tape because when you put this metal thing on highly likely the counter belt will slide off so you won't be able to do anything when this thing is installed then you remove this thing after you feed the belt through here so um, at least let me try that and see how it goes so okay it did work now I pull this thingy out and you see lines of the of the belt right here and now I th think it's rotating. Yeah, it's working. Okay, good. So let's continue. Whew. Yeah. Looks like this tape Mac is complete pain in the ass. It's here. Technically, just to deal with tape Mac, I should not be unscrewing these guys. It's just completely unnecessary. And nothing in the, on the bottom so yeah there are a few screws I took around here so they were not necessary yeah and here as well so and this guy should just go back in so essentially if you take this off you're gonna just Maybe they will be ne it will be necessary if you want to change some some um, components right here on the PCB. But just to fiddle with electronics, no, you don't have to. Sorry, fiddle with tap ma tap Mac, you don't have to. Okay, this is secured here. Okay, I'm not gonna be dealing with those wires at the moment. Uh, maybe I will, just to make sure these are not interfering with this. 
contraption so that's gonna be pulled right in here okay so now let's just secure this arm essentially playback record another one Try that. Here we are. Need to press this little thingy here. Right, oh my god, it's so loud. It's a record button. It's, I don't like this plastic noise, but whatever. Okay, so I can we, we think we can stop at the moment. Okay, those are... I don't remember where is this from. Oh, I remember where is this from, so I can install them later. So those are two screws, okay. So I have left. I know where this from. That's for sure. I still cannot, I don't remember where is this from. Uh, it's, I think it's some sort of protection. I think it was right here or something. Yeah, I think it was right here, like protection. Yeah. Okay. So this is what we have. So now it's a good time to actually continue cleaning. So continue the pinch roller and the caps and because pinch roller is pretty dirty. I need some rotating action in order to clean the pinch roller. So I'll do that now off camera. Okay guys, I have done some cleaning. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't figure out how to clean these um, piano keys and here. So this, uh, I mean, I clean up the dirt, but they still have a lot of oxidation. So I'm not sure how to clean up oxidation from this metal cladding. So it has to be, I don't know, I need to learn that because I have a few other decks which look not so cool. Okay, let's power it up. It's actually powered up. Yep, sis. And try our most favorite cassette, gotta be Sokak! Uh, I think this play, right? No, this record. Making noises. Hmm, I see some movement here. Let me use my headphones. Looks like it's kind of making those weird noises when it's uh, vertical like that. That actually plays well. It actually plays quite well out of the box. Need to clean up this. Oh my goodness. Even dirt, it's like paint or something. It plays, and sometimes I try to clean up this gunk, it doesn't clean up. Whatever, anyways. 
Wow! Okay, I don't know how good is it plays, but it does play quite well. And loud, so levels are pretty good, left and right channel, so he... <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Probably during cleanup I stir up some dust. Anyways, these, uh, on these headphones actually plays quite well. Uh, so obviously I'm gonna do some speed tweaks and things like that. Um, but first I have to clean up this gunk. Oh yeah, yeah, it comes off. Okay, it's much better now. Whatever it is. Okay, so next step would be to place the panels back on. Which are already nicely washed. And cleaned. Ta-da! What's going on here? Yeah, I don't like this oxidation. Nothing can do about it. Okay. Finally. Have to shut it down for safety. And those two big screws goes in, go in here. Self toppers for some reason. Okay. This is in. Okay, now I have to figure out how to put this back on. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Let me pull it back on. Yeah, it, it kept. Uh, I was essentially just wash it under sink, and looks like it kept some extra water. Let me clean this all up. That will dry out, I think. Yeah, it does it again. Ha! Huh. It's an interesting way of getting rid of it. Okay. No big deal. I will let it dry. Okay, and now this one. This one is tricky one because it's still. This one has to be glued, but now I just want to see if I can dislodge. Wow, looks like hope it's gonna help. Okay, gonna leave it for now. Let it go uh, soak it in. Maybe I just spin it a few times back and forth. Yeah. Looks like it's some kind of old grease kind of solidified in there. Ugh. Wow, it's impossible to spin by hands. Okay, I think I need to let it soak in and then I use some kind of silicone lubricant to penetrate here. <laughs> 